Bat fans, Dad Knight here coming to you from the Batcave, bringing you another DC Discussions. And today we will be discussing Titans number one from Rebirth. So this pretty well leads on straight from the DC Universe Rebirth that we talked about last episode. Uh, we start, we see uh, Wally West in Nightwing's apartment by himself. He's reminiscing a bit and talking about uh, the, the Titans and how they were really good friends and really close together. And he hopes that they can remember him because as... We remember before uh, everybody has lost memories of Wally West and who he is, except for Barry Allen. So Nightwing comes into his apartment and is immediately uh, on the aggressive saying, who are you, why are you here? He addresses Nightwing as Dick and Dick says, how do you know that name? Who are you? And immediately jumps to attack at Wally. Wally gets on the defence rather than speeding off, he stops to stop him and uh, in the process Dick gets zapped from Wally, which was from the Speed Force as well, and jogs a little memory. We flash back to a memory that Dick had of Wally and himself when they were a bit younger and taking the Batmobile on the joyride. And then from then, he immediately remembers who Wally is, and he can't believe it. Uh, Wally says to Dick, we need to find the rest of the Titans. Where are they? And he goes, oh, well, they're right here. And they come in, see that Nightwing's gone to attack Wally. They immediately go, well, you've picked the wrong place to break into and uh, they all go on the attack. So in there we've got Donna Troy as Wonder Girl, uh, we've got Roy Harper as Arsenal or Speedy, we've got Garth as Aqualad or Tempest I believe he's called these days, uh, we've got Lilith Clay, I'm not very familiar with who she is either uh, and they all immediately start to fight against Wally. Then we see Wally comes into contact with Roy Harper first and Roy gets the same zap that Nightwing got and uh, flashes back to a memory that he had of them together where Roy's like, here's my new apartment and it's just a complete dump and Wally's there and he's like, uh, does Green Arrow like you living like this? And they have a bit of a discussion, have a beer together and stuff like that. And then they immediately flash back to present time. He's like, oh my god, Wally. Uh, same thing happens. We then get Donna Troy, Wonder, uh, Wonder Girl. She also attacks and then they go to a memory as well where they're standing outside a door, got a big bucket of water balloons and they're going to pull a prank on Roy Harper and you know, throw all these water bombs at Roy uh, where one of the girls sort of standing there going uh, shouldn't we be training you know where I come from it's all about discipline and training and Wally's like no no you got to have time for pranks and fun as well and then so she remembers who he is as well we get uh, Lilith she reads his mind because she has the power to read mind so she reads his mind and then um, gets the same sort of memory thing happening as well she remembers a time where she was struggling with the fact that she could read people's minds and it was a really, I guess, a burden for her. And Wally was there as a bit of a shoulder to cry on and offer her comfort as well. So then she remembered who he was. And then finally we had Garth as well. He came into contact, gets the same zap once again, like the rest of them, and uh, remembers back to a time where he had a conversation with Wally saying basically he couldn't stay on land. He's an Atlantean. He feels like an outsider. And Wally was like, well, you're part of the team. You know, people won't always accept us, but we're always friends. Uh, and so that was the whole team then who, who remembered who Wally was. From there, Wally went on to explain what happened, where he's been, that he's been stuck in the Speed Force for 10 years, and people have taken the memories of him from people, uh, where they also explained that they actually had the memories of each other taken away, that they found each other again. Uh, then the reason behind Wally going to seek out the Titans was to warn them because they believe it's going to happen again because whoever was behind it, which we don't know who that is yet, but whoever was behind it is now actually aware that Wally is out of the Speed Force and is uh, fixing people's memories uh, and will now be coming for them. We don't know who it is, what their plan is, what they're going to do at this point. Uh, but basically, they're all like, well... We're all really good friends. Friendship's what's going to hold us together and we can prepare and stop you for that. So that was pretty much the end of the story. Um, I am not a big Teen Titans. Uh, I guess I don't have a lot of knowledge of the Teen Titans very much at all. I haven't seen very much of them. Mostly from what I have seen is honestly the Justice League vs. Teen Titans movie, which isn't something that's real great to go off. Um, familiar with a couple of the characters like Roy Harper from Arrow and things like that who... I really do like Nightwing, he's a great character as well. Um, I've 
actually really grown to quite like Wally West just by watching these, oh sorry, just by reading these comics uh, so far, which is why I started with the Titans uh, after the DC Universe one, because he sort of followed on from that story a lot, but I really am enjoying Wally West as a character so far. So I really do look forward to seeing where that goes, and yeah, this story's got me wanting to know who's coming for them and what's their plan as well. So uh, I will go into, I will be reading them more, I will be bringing on my synopsises and my opinions to you guys as well, so make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for it, and check out our website, www.frombatcave.com, to check out all of our other stuff as well. I'm the Dad Knight, bringing you Titans Rebirth. Thank you, see you next time. This has been Cabana Production. <laughs> and she remembers a time where she was struggling with the fact that she can read me. Blah, blah, blah.